So welcome back to my channel today I am doing a back to school video because I know that a lot of people are going back to school whether it's August or September me myself I go back next week actually so I thought this would be the perfect time to get out a video like this so this is a collab video and so I'll be linking those youtubers um, video links down below in the description box so be sure to check them out after you watch this video so for this video I'm gonna be doing um, what I wish I knew before college or like s some tips hacks things that I think will really help you out if you're just starting college this year so if you guys want some hacks some tips and tricks on how to get through college be sure to keep watching this video also before we get into this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you aren't already and be sure to click the notification bell to be notified when I post videos and now without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so tip number one. Um, there's a site called Rate My Professor, and this site is really amazing. It's basically a site where students will review teachers, professors, give reviews on them and what they think, how they thought the teacher taught the class and what kind of work they gave and just their overall review of the course and it tells you like it rates the difficulty level of the class and if they would take it again and stuff like that. So yeah, that's really a great site to help you out when you're choosing like your classes and you're trying to figure out what teacher to take because that really helped me tremendously. Like I've been having like amazing teachers since I've figured out that site. So definitely if you haven't heard of it, be sure to check it out because I think that'll really be helpful for you. So tip number two, um, this has to do with when you're getting books. Okay, so me my freshman year of college i bought every book that i saw on the list that i needed like i bought all of them even though there was option to rent i just bought them i don't know why i did that but don't do that if you can rent the book definitely rent it and also only get the book if you're for sure going to be using it in the class like if you work better through notes and note taking and yeah that kind of thing if you're not like the book type open book and study type person don't get the book because it'll just be a waste it'll just be sitting there because there was an instance where I bought a book rented the book no I bought the book because the professor said if you want to pass this class you need to get this book you need this book you're gonna use it every day it's very essential to the class and all that so I'm like okay I'm gonna get the book the book sat in my room with the plastic wrap on it and everything because it was new had it been opened and I never used it in class like never he never mentioned the book again like we never used never used the book it was a waste it was a waste so don't do that only get the book if you really need it and don't buy it rent it unless you have to buy it but rent don't buy tip number three okay you're in college is a new environment new experiences make friends socialize with people meet new people because these people I feel like in college you're really making your lifelong lifelong friendships like you know, I just feel like high school is over, all that jazz erased in whatever you're in college now, big things, better things. So definitely I would say socialize more, get to know people, make friends, have fun, all that jazz, definitely, because why not? I mean, it's fun. Do it. Do it. Number four, this has to do with um, lecturing, like when your teachers are giving a lesson. Uh, I know some professors, they will have PowerPoints up and then you're expected to like write every single thing down on the PowerPoint and then that's supposed to be your what you're supposed to study and whatever. But I know other professors, they'll just speak for the whole class period. No PowerPoints, none of that. You're just writing down everything that they're saying. So I know that's really hard for some people, especially for me. So what I would do is... Um, record the lecture and write down notes at the same time so whatever i might have missed 
while they were lecturing I can listen to it and then write it down so that's really helpful so definitely do that if that is helpful for you tip number five this one's really important like <laughs> really important guys do not procrastinate like don't don't do it don't do it there are so many stories lessons learned um, don't do it please don't if you know something is due do it beforehand get it done so it's out of the way you don't have to worry about it again do not wait the day or two before and you're struggling like oh I can't come up with an idea I don't know what to do don't do it please just get it done early so it's done with over with you don't have to worry about it anymore do not procrastinate please don't do it please especially in college don't do it please don't okay my next tip it is form study groups if you're a person that really like you don't like to study by yourself and you don't really get information when you're alone just reading and studying whatever definitely form study groups because that really helped me um like i would like form a group of like four people three four people we'd get a study room in the library and like they have whiteboards and we just write down everything that we know and if we're missing anything someone else might bring something up and you learn something from each person and like you give more information to other people as well when you're studying that way so i think that's really helpful that helped me a lot especially my freshman year we did a lot of that so yeah definitely form study groups with people and make sure it's good people like not someone just gonna sit there and not do anything but yeah form good study groups with your classmates in classes that you really struggle in that are like you find really difficult for you so yeah definitely do that that's really helpful that was a key key for me that was key another tip I'm sorry prepare for college level work don't think you're about to go up in there and it's gonna be like easy breezy and all of that because it's not you need to be prepared for college level work it's not gonna be easy all the time some things might come easy other things will not come easy so so be prepared for that kind of work like you know get level-headed just get your work done make sure you do what you need to do to get that a okay get that a study hard work hard and take it seriously because you're there for a reason someone else wanted that spot and you got it so take it seriously please take it seriously um this one's kind of uh, this one i would say like build like relations with your professors <laughs> And when I say relationships, I mean, like, don't just be that person that just sits there and that just sits there doesn't engage with the professor. I feel like that really helps. First, that helps them see that you're actually learning. And then also, I feel like for you, when it comes down to things such as recommendation letters, if they see, like, oh, yeah, I remember this student, she did this or he did this and always did this, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you got to a lit recommendation letter right there so definitely build relationships with your professors they're there to help you and yeah and then my last tip is to relax have fun find time for yourself find time for your friends to chill and hang out because um sometimes it might get stressful and you need time to yourself to just relax and breathe have fun there's nothing wrong with that you are in college that's partly what is expected but just be like have safe good fun and enjoy your time like I feel like I really enjoy college I really do so I feel like you should enjoy it too I want you guys to all have a wonderful semester I wish you guys the best of luck and do your best in everything that you do just work hard be kind be humble get your work done have some time have fun all that great stuff but just know just know what you want know what you're striving for and get there because you can do it okay yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those notifications let me know in the comments down below if any of these tips helped you also if you're a college student if you have any other tips that i may have forgotten or didn't mention at all please comment them down below 
Also, let me know what grade you guys are going to. doesn't matter what grade. Let me know in the comment down below. And hope you guys all have a wonderful school year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye. You are